Hey guys, so like I mentioned earlier, um, I wanted to get my seeds organized and uh, go through my seed haul with you guys and to plan out what I wanted to start for this growing season. Um, what I did was uh, we were out yesterday and I actually found this planner um, on clearance because <laughs> I'm cheap. And um, I'm going to use this as my garden planner. And uh, what I did was I also, in the Botanical Interest catalog, they have this really handy um, like growing guide or sewing guide. So it has an indoor sewing and an outdoor sewing guide. And it lists just about everything you could possibly imagine. And all I did was I looked up the new art, art dates here, frost dates. Uh, the last and the first um, you know where we're at in Idaho the zone is exactly the same as where we lived in Michigan but the frost dates are different kind of the growing conditions are different and I feel like I'm starting from scratch so um, that's why I got the planner and I have this growing or sewing guide um, and then I also bought some storage bins. Um, I know a lot of other channels or people have these, but they're new to me. Um, and I'm going to organize my seeds. Um, and yeah, I just, uh, it's kind of overwhelming. I've got a lot of seeds. As you can see, I have ones, those are kind of my older seeds. I just, <laughs> just was keeping them in Ziploc bags. Um, um, what I want to do is kind of talk about some of the seeds that I did get this year. Some of these are ones that I actually ordered a little while ago but hadn't used because we were traveling. And I know there's a lot of like people who say you can't use old seed. Um, I have had very good luck with all my seed. I have some seed that's 10 years old and I still get germination. It might not be the best but uh, I think one time I heard Jess on Roots and Refuge say, what's the worst that can happen? It doesn't grow. So rather than just throw those seeds away, I'd rather plant them in and if they don't grow, they didn't grow, it's no big deal. Um, so I'm gonna start here with cucumbers. Uh, I love cucumbers. I think tomatoes and cucumbers are probably my favorite thing to grow. Um, actually, that's probably a lie. I think I like to grow everything as Levi's standing behind staring at me going, yeah, she likes to grow um, everything. Well, you see the seed collection. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like a lot of variety. Um, but I guess I can just start going through some stuff here. Um, again, I'll start with the cucumbers. Um, I really enjoy the ones that have a tender skin on them um, versus ones that you kind of have to peel that skin off. And so I try to buy a lot of uh, those specific kinds. Um, so um, I'm not gonna go through everything that I've purchased. Uh, a lot of it is just, you know, stuff that everybody has. But I will talk to you about some of the things that um, I really, really enjoy and that are kind of our favorites to grow. Um, kale is huge. Uh, we really love the lacinato or the dinosaur kale, um, red Russian. Uh, I have a lot of kale seeds. Um, these ones are the, the three that I just bought this year, but ones that we grow all the time just I uh, wanted to take advantage of ordering some new seeds. Um, tomatoes. So I ordered some new tomatoes this year. And uh, ones that are kind of my favorite is I really love the Opoka tomato. Um, green sausage tomato is new to us. I have grown cream sausage tomatoes for my entire growing, like, time. Um, but I've never tried the green sausage tomatoes, so I thought I'd give those a try. And then, um, here, see here, I ordered a new package of cream sausage because they are really good tomatoes. They are, one of our favorites. it is absolutely one of our favorites. And then I ordered just some fun new ones. Um, there's this black strawberry tomato from Baker Creek. 
this dark orange muscat tomato and this uh, gobstopper tomato. I really love salad. Um, I have been known to eat salad for breakfast, so um, the more tomatoes around, the better. Um, another thing that I wanted to start growing is asparagus. Uh, I have never grown asparagus. We had an awesome neighbor back in Michigan who would always provide us with lots of fresh asparagus from his garden. Um, so I did order some seeds this year and not sure if we'll start them this year. We probably will wait until we have more of an established garden uh, to figure out where we want them since they're going to be in a permanent spot. Uh, so, and then peppers. I love all peppers. Um, we, in our last garden, had um, a, I know, one bed of 36 peppers and they did not go to waste. We used so many and, um, you know, that was amazing to have that many fresh peppers to eat during the growing season and then to freeze and use later. Um, so some new ones is, this is just a burpee one, but it's a sweet pepper called Tangerine Dream. Uh, I have never tried this one, but I really enjoy those little like mini sweet bell peppers. So, uh, I wanted to try those. Um, this chili tepin, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong from MI Gardener. Uh, this is also one that I'd like to try. Um, I've never made hot sauces before. I've made salsas, but never hot sauce. And uh, we want to grow like all the hot peppers and make our own sauces soon. I don't know if it'll be this year, um, but in the future. Um, and then I bought a lot of new bell peppers. Uh, we love doing stuffed peppers and things like that and for fresh eating. And I'm not a huge fan of green bell peppers. I do like them. I like to put them in salsas, but just for eating, they're not my favorite. So I did kind of try and pick up some new uh, bell peppers, including this chocolate beauty here from my gardener. And oh, here I found this one from Bo by Botanical Interest at a local hardware store. Um, this is a Thai hot chili pepper. So that is also new. Um, and a sweet bell blend. So I have kind of some repeats, but these seeds will not go to waste. And pepperoncini peppers. Uh, I've never even thought about growing them myself and maybe pickling them, but that is something that I'd like to do. Um, Tabasco peppers. Uh, Serranos. Again, we like spicy peppers, so we wanted to add those. Uh, these are definitely new to me, lemon drop peppers. Um, excited to try those. And these are not new either, um, but this was a fun little mix. These little mini bell peppers, they are literally probably about this big around and just a lot of fun. And as um, each plant produces its own color. So I grew a few and I had some of those kind of like brownish purple ones. Uh, the green and the red. I don't think we got any of the other colors mixed in. This is also not new, but these lemon spice jalapenos are really great. If you like jalapenos, you will definitely like these. Um, they are a little bit more kind of fruitier, so it's it's uh, just a nice balance between that kind of spiciness and a little bit of a sweetness. Um, just a new bell pepper for us. Um, again, I don't mind green ones, um, but these you can let stay on the vine and ripen longer, or the plant on the vine. And then uh, some more spicy, the Bequinos. Um, I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure. Those are, I actually really enjoyed those. Again, very seedy, but they are fruity and spicy at the same time, and just these cute little peppers. And um, these I'd like to pickle as well. Levi and I ate out at a restaurant one time in Traverse City, Michigan, and they had these little pickled sweet uh, the Quinos on the plate. And I think we've been craving them ever since. And that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> um, let me think. Lots of herbs. There's some, some, some new herbs in here that I have not grown before. Uh, tarragon, 
uh, cinnamon basil, uh, regular basil, which I've grown a lot of. Um, I love like all basils and we love to make pesto. I make fresh pesto all the time and some spearmint because I love spearmint tea. Um, lots of new cabbages for me. I have had very little luck with cabbage in the past. Uh, in Michigan, we actually had so many issues with like the cabbage loopers and um, it would it was really difficult to get any kind of uh, cabbage that wasn't full of bugs. Um, I'm hoping that maybe we won't have that problem here. We'll have to wait and see. But um, just to have a, a red cabbage, um, the early Jersey Wakefield, which is a new one to me, and Savoy cabbage, which is also new. Um, I'm not sure why I ordered three cantaloupes, but I did. <laughs> so uh, three different cantaloupes. We'll probably pick one, maybe two, and grow uh, two and see which ones we like and, and uh, either just save the seeds or gift them to someone else. Um, I have a lot of onions and onions is definitely something that we are going to start, uh, really soon here. Um, we probably use one onion every day and, uh, if we could grow enough to have that for a year, that would be great. Um, again, most of these are from MI Gardener and the one I think I'm most excited about is this Kelsey onion. I had seen it on his channel one time where he grew it and was giant and um, so I'm looking forward to, to attempting that. And then um, I have leeks. I've never grown leeks. Um, I enjoy them so that would be something I'd really like to start this year as well. Um, some red onion and just some you know like green onions. And then uh, I did get some new pumpkin seeds. Uh, I enjoy growing pumpkins. We haven't had the best of luck. We in Michigan had these giant pumpkins that would grow and they would get to about this big and then they would just rot. <laughs> and, and like, we couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, I did have luck with the, um, oh, what's it called? The Long Island Cheese Pumpkin. Um, again, this is also from MI Gardener. These are wonderful. Um, they do so well. We had no problems with um, any kind of rotting and, and things like that. And they um, are really sweet. So we, I don't remember if we, I think we use it as a savory dish. I think we did something with sausage and mm -hmm. things like that. But these two are new to me. Um, this red warty thing, pumpkin. Uh, it just looks fun and I am interested in having some fun things in the garden and then the Jardale again probably saying it wrong pumpkin um, I looked up the best like multi-purpose pumpkin and this was this was what it said um, you know it's good for sweet dishes and we love pumpkin as a savory so uh, looking forward to trying those new things for me are growing beans uh, for dry beans so this year maybe not this year but maybe next year I am gonna try pinto beans this these ones I ordered from Azure Standard um, black garbanzo beans um, mung beans. I really enjoy bean sprouts like in a stir fry and things like that so um, I ordered these to be able to grow more and do that. Um, I have two of those. Uh, soybeans. Levi is kind of anti edamame. Um, but, Just limit your soy if you're a man. Right. You know, too much soy is not good, but uh, small amounts and growing it ourselves and, and uh, I don't know, just thought it would be a lot of fun to give that a try and steam them and just enjoy them as a healthy yeah, snack. Um, and then just some other beans, some Mayflower bean, uh, a lima bean, another kind of a pinto, and a light red kidney bean. 
um, it's just Levi and I, so we don't need to grow like massive quantities of, of things uh, right now, but maybe down the road when we get the gar garden a little more established, we can start. We do want to be able to put away a year's worth of yes. food. That's our goal every yeah. year. Yeah, uh, definitely want to. And you love to can. I do. I miss canning. In fact, we we have canned goods that we have carried with us from Michigan uh, in the trailer. Um, we have... Uh, we still have this spaghetti squash from Michigan. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> I wish. Our spaghetti squash were absolutely amazing. They last a really long time, too. They did. I think they're the longest storage yeah. squash. And then we just had them for dinner. They're delicious. If yeah. no one's ever had those. But... Yeah, I'm anxious to start canning like pasta sauce again. We just used our Use last, last one, one not too long ago, mm -hmm. and same with our salsas. Um, I do still have some jams and jellies. We're not, we don't eat a whole lot of that, but I do enjoy having them around. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to kind of get get back into doing all of that stuff. So. Um, flowers I realized um, bring me a lot of joy in the garden and so I did order a lot of, of flowers and just stuff I've picked up at um, the store and stuff every time we go um, but yeah I just thought I'd add some more flowers so here's some bachelor buttons foxglove um, I'm originally from Washington State and foxgloves grow everywhere there. So that is one of my absolute favorite flowers. Uh, sunflowers. Um, we love sunflowers oh, in the garden. Um, we've grown the, what are they? The giant sunflowers. In fact, we saved a lot of seeds um, from our garden in Michigan and those just blow my mind at how big they can get. Um, we got some poppy seeds. I have never grown poppies and they are so beautiful. So I thought I would give a hand at that. Uh, Here's some more sunflowers. This is evening sun. Um, autumn beauty. I'm hoping you guys can see these as I'm showing them to you. Uh, I got some dahlias. Uh, sweet peas, another poppy. Look at that. It is beautiful. Black swan poppy. Wow. Um, some aster, apricot aster. Um, this is not really more like a flower, but multi-purpose thing. The borage, I'm excited to, to grow that. I do think it's beautiful, but it also brings in a lot of beneficial pollinators. Bells of Ireland. Um, Those are so cool. These are just so cool. I don't know. I would recommend if you love uh, growing flowers to check out You Can't Eat the Grass. They have a YouTube channel. Um, I have learned a lot watching their channel about growing um, flowers and things like that. And um, just watching them and how they create their bouquets um, is beautiful, which brings me to the ranunculus. I had never heard of it or even, I mean, maybe I had seen it. I just didn't know. Yeah. Um, but these are just gorgeous. And I, I actually bought these at Dollar Tree. Um, there's three corms in here and, um, you know, it was a dollar 25, I think now Dollar Tree is, but thought I'd give those a try. I have some Cosmos, um, and lots and lots of zinnias. Um, I love zinnias. They are so gorgeous. Um, another kind of a poppy, the Iceland poppy, and then some snapdragons. Um, and then I also have these, this uh, amaranth. I've never grown this before either, so I wanted to give that a try. And this is a red spike amaranth. Looks a little bit different, more like an an herb, but you can use it or not an herb, like a grain. Um, but it also looks beautiful in bouquets. And then I also have uh, these this fun marigold. Never seen that before. Um, Black eyed susans are one of Levi's favorites. Oh, yeah. 
um, these moonflowers, and this is new to me, this uh, toothache plant. Oh. Um, this is something I thought was really interesting and I wanted to give it a try. Um, it says that it has numbing qualities when chewed. Um, and it says it has other herbal uses. I'm not sure what those are, but I thought that would be something fun. We don't get a lot of toothaches, but if anything, it will have a look really cool in the garden. Yeah. And this teddy bear sunflower, absolutely wow. gorgeous. I am looking forward to growing that. Um, and I think I already had an autumn beauty in there somewhere, but this is from Baker Creek. Um, bee balm, which is another beautiful plant. We have this growing in our garden in Michigan. Uh, and chamomile, which is beautiful, smells wonderful, and obviously you can make tea. And then this buckwheat, I thought this was really beautiful and it has more purposes. You can use it um, for food as well. So I'm not going to bore you with going through everything because there is a lot here, um, but these I'm are gonna, just the new ones. Yeah, these I mean, are just those are all the older seeds. Those, yeah, I've she got probably has just that many. So much. Those, Although but. I am kind of excited. I am going to try and grow glass gem popcorn too, which I think is just it's so beautiful. Um, I pretty sure I ordered this, yeah, from Azure Standard as well, and a sweet corn. Um, and I was really excited to see, I just learned that there is a local seed company here, not far from where we live, and this is in Plummer, um, Idaho, and uh, it's the Heirloom Evermore Seed Company. Uh, so I'm gonna try to fit all of these seeds into these two storage boxes. You have 48 boxes. I don't think I can do it. I got way too many seeds here. No. No. <laughs> I don't think it's enough. I think I need more. What do you guys think? <laughs> here. So let me find the rest of my cucumbers, which is, I don't think we're going to be able to fit everything in one. Here, let me set this. We, are. we might be able to. I think you will. You're going to be surprised at how well these work. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is I am very much a seed saver. So uh, if I have a good year on something, I take... Or if something tastes really, really good. Or it good. tastes really good. Like, like if we oh. get a pepper that is really spicy, um, I'll save the seeds from that pepper. Now, I understand that things cross pollinate and things like that. But we've also had some really amazing like crosses that oh, some were- Some volunteer tomatoes that a, came up and yeah. they were like two of our favorites put together yes. that nature And it was amazing. Yeah. So um, I'm okay with that. I have no problem saving seeds and having it maybe not be mm -hmm. what, what it was. So cukes. These are all cucumbers. So I gotta write that. Man, yeah, I've wanted to organize my seeds for so long. Oh, this is going to be nice. It's going to be wonderful. Tomatoes are probably going to take up five of these booms. <laughs> <laughs> we love tomatoes. Yeah, I am very much a, a vegetable person. She's I, a vegetable-based life form. I am. I could live without fruit, but not without vegetables. Have any of you tried these Schwer Schwarzer Runder Radish? I've grown them one time and I thought they were the worst things ever. And I love radishes. But I'm going to try them again before I, th I get rid of the seeds because I, I don't know. <laughs> Levi's not really a radish fan. <laughs> My favorite are the French breakfast. I think they have the best flavor. Um, but I do have some new ones that I haven't had before, which is the hailstone radish, which is a white radish, and then this German giant. So I'm gonna give these ones a try. 
say arugula falls into lettuce. I agree. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that adorable? I don't know if it's worth growing, but... It looks cool. It looks fun. It, it looks almost like a Brussels sprout, but it's actually lettuce. Just... Yeah, that can go in there. Same with the other one. Thanks for helping. It's raining. No, not currently, but... Oh, nice. goodness, it's been... What a day. Raining off and on. We woke up to the rain, then the sun came out, then we went outside, then we got rained on, so we came inside, then the rainbows came out because the sun came out. <laughs> like, oh, what a day. Tomatoes is going to have to be too. For sure. I'll, I'll uh, break it down to like slicers, cherry, oh. and maybe paste. Yeah. Ooh, it's almost time to turn the trigger on. Oh, ribeyes tonight. We're doing reverse seared <gasps> ribeyes. Oh man. Big we... potato and broccoli. Mmm. Can we eat it right now? <laughs> I'm already hungry. Oh, I am too. Oh, and you're going to do cherry, slicer, slicer and paste. paste. Mm. That's more of a paste. Oh my goodness, this is making me happy. Talk about we saved so many tomato seeds. The seeds. Ooh, ground cherries. Should mm. I just put those in with there? Green zebra. Um, I think I would pull that put that in the little sweeties. Those are from my mom. Ooh, Cape gooseberries. Oh, this Azoichka tomato. Oh, yeah. That one is amazing. Um, blue cranberries. Here's tomatillos. Hmm. That should probably be. It's on the thing. What is this one? Black creme. Chernobyl. That one's a really good one too. I don't know. Does this fall under a paste? Um. Perfect for canning. More cream sausage. Big rainbow. Cherokee purple. Really <clears throat> those are amazing. Pink jazz are one of my yeah, favorites. Geranium kiss. <clears throat> so these little spoon tomatoes, I don't know if you've ever grown these. They are literally like the size of a pea. They are so small. Um, the people that bought our house are going to have those forever because <laughs> they exploded yeah in the so i planted like one of these and it it literally took over one whole 12 foot by three bad. foot raised bed it was With crazy thousands and thousands of i don't know that the flavor is very good no. they're kind of fun though because they're so yeah, small they're... all right well so we've got the junk drawer one yeah. <laughs> the last the last little uh sleeve is full of a bunch of um miscellaneous so i will definitely be picking up another uh, box to kind of make everything just a little bit more organized but this is amazing compared to yeah i mean it's what it was like before you can just see how cool Organized is going to be. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's going to be it for the organization. Yeah. So I, gotta... Now what I'll do this evening while we're waiting for dinner to um, cook is I'm going to go through and look at my planner and the um, that little guide from botanical interest and I am going to figure out what I should go ahead and start and then we'll kind of pull those seeds and get them ready but uh yeah cool. of course we're gonna start grilling yep. and rain it's starting to rain <laughs> what a I okay I, I mean I've mentioned that I I grew up out in this area I grew up on the other side of the Cascades in Washington State and I'm 
I was used to this weather. Like it rained almost every day for my whole like right. life from the time I was three until I was 18. Um, but being in Michigan, I kind of forgot. Yeah. <laughs> what it, it rains was like. a lot, but it's not every day. If it's going to yeah. rain that day, it's going to rain that whole Oh, day. in Michigan. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't have to deal with pop up constant so showers. I had forgotten what it's like yeah. that basically the weather is so unpredictable that. You know. Even the weather people don't know how to predict the weather. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. All right. Gonna... I'll, go, I'll go uncover the trigger. I got the awning out, so we'll, uh, we could do it rain or shine. Yeah. You ready, Ryder? You need to go potty? Well, hey, guys. What's going on? Um, so uh, you're insider. Our trailer it's a little bit cold to start seeds outside yeah. um so yeah that's what we're gonna do yeah, some seeds. today oh, boy, it's been some years yeah so the last time i actually planted a garden was in 2021 yeah. so it has been a really long time and i am itching I am itching yeah. to to have a garden and to grow everything that I can possibly grow. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, I started some onion seeds, uh, leeks, artichoke. They're doing pretty good. Um, and celery and rosemary. Uh, they're doing well. Um, I had some older seeds. Those are taking a little bit longer to germinate, but they are starting to pop up. And um, these are the newer onions. Uh, and they're doing really well, but you can see like some of the stuff's just starting to, to peek out. And um, I thought for sure we'd probably have a little bit slower germination and not as well, um, but that's okay. I'm, we'll have plenty of onions to go around. Celery takes a little bit of time and the artichoke does as well, so not super concerned. So Levi built this for me. Um, we already have these shop lights uh, from back in Michigan and um, he used some zip ties and command strips <laughs> up here. And we have chains that we can adjust with it. And, yeah. you know, we usually start them on wire shells and stuff, but it's so like packed away that we Yeah, can't... we couldn't actually find um the garden bin like i have labels and everything so instead we just put left and right and then i drew uh levi drew a, just a schematic of you know these and then i'm just labeling it on that piece of paper yeah, and we'll keep track fun. of everything that way but um it's really cool because we can um adjust the height of the light as things grow by just tightening the um zip tie yeah, I grew up watching MacGyver, so. <laughs> um, and we also have some heat mats. Uh, we keep the trailer pretty cold, so we knew that we would need um, the heat mats to help things germinate. But today, we are going to get started on um, some peppers and some flowers and... Um, Maybe a couple of herbs, some things that are a little bit cold. How far are hardy. we out? We're like we're about eight, eight weeks. Just a little less or more than eight weeks out. So I don't want to start a lot, but peppers for me have always taken a lot longer, yeah. and um, you know I'm okay if I have to up pot them. We have plenty of room to do that right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wait probably another couple of weeks um, before we start tomatoes. I know some people are already starting those now, um, but I have found that I have just as good of success yeah. with, you know, not even if, starting my seeds yeah, for if tomatoes. You guys, if you guys have all had a garden before, like everybody knows, the volunteer tomatoes end up becoming just as big as the tomatoes you start inside yeah. so some things just need warm warm weather hot weather and you know mm -hmm. tomatoes are definitely one of those yeah so um you know what Let's... Hmm. so do you guys think this will come up it says sell by 
twelve thirty one of two thousand seventeen. So. <laughs> Duh. I am not going to throw away perfectly good seeds. <laughs> peppers. Uh, peppers. Oh, we love peppers. All peppers. All peppers. Okay. This is going to be hard to narrow down. Yeah, because our last garden was, we had one whole giant bed just of peppers. We had like 36 pepper plants. Yeah. So, cowboy <laughs> um, candy. We did and... pick up a couple of new seeds just in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, I picked up some poblanos. I do have ones that I saved from our, our garden. These are called Carranza peppers and it is a type of a poblano and I, I loved them, but I was a little worried that maybe my seeds aren't gonna do as well, the ones I saved. So I picked up um, some, po some poblano seeds, pepper seeds, just in case, but those we will be starting. And then we have a recipe where you do uh, stuffed jalapenos, like jalapeno poppers, and you do them on the Traeger and you smoke them. And those were the most amazing oh, jalapeno so poppers good. we have ever had. And our jalapenos that we've always grown have always tended to be really small. And so we found these ones that are um, really big jalapenos and they'll grow between six and seven inches long. And I thought these ones will be wow, great be for these jalapeno poppers because yeah. you wrap bacon around them. And um, I don't think we'll do Anaheim's this year. Uh, did you want to grow? Is that the Trinidad Scorpion? I mean, when we say we like spicy, I mean, here's the Trinidad Scorpion. We actually grew those for Tanner. For Tanner. I don't I don't think I'm going to grow any of these ones this year, though. Like yeah, all fun. these extras. Um, just, we'll grow some small jalapenos for cowboy candy. And let's go ahead and we'll do one of those this year so all right sweet all right. peppers sweet peppers um this right here this lesia pepper this is from baker creek um this is an amazing flavored pepper oh, yeah. it is super sweet and it has really thick flesh and um i'm excited to grow this one this year um let's see we'll do that which is just a sweet pepper bell mix. pepper and then we should do these green ones so we'll do it's the king of the north so if you pick it you know what a great name <laughs> when you you can pick it when it's still green or you can wait for it to ripen um i don't know that might be all What do you think? Hmm. I think that's good. Okay. I really should use these older seeds, though. Yeah, instead of these. Yeah, let's do that. California wonders. All right, flowers. So flowers. it says down here, the flowers. Oh, uh, this one I'm really excited about. We found these. Um, at was it Lowe's or Home Depot. Yeah, one of the two. And it's called a passion flower. They're so cool. They are so beautiful. And then they will produce fruit at the end um, after the flower is done. And you can eat them, which is really awesome. Look up these peppers, though. They are peppers. In our own. Look up <laughs> these flowers, though. They are crazy. Yeah. There's like seven so, parts of it. It's it's so cool. We We actually grew this. Um, in Michigan years and years and years ago. Yeah, our old so, house. Uh, yeah, our, our house Prior before the one, last yeah. house. So um, I'm excited that we found these um, and we're going to grow that. We should start some crocosmias. I will put a picture of it um, up on the screen, but these are beautiful and the hummingbirds and the butterflies absolutely love them. Oh. What's up, buddy? Ryder's over here. He's 
<laughs> he is absolutely bored because it's, we really can't do much outside. It's, we, um, we're starting our siding, which you guys will see coming up. And, mm -hmm. um, we're pre-painting some of it, and you really can't paint when it's below 40 degrees. So we're like right almost to the point where we're going to have some really nice weather. So yeah. we can be outside. So we're just trying to do stuff inside. And Levi's making me another little grid for the next tray. Right, here's the first um, one. And it's basically just yeah, the easy little reference guide. <laughs> and that way we know if you read the writing left to right, you can pretty easily, that way we can just keep track. <clears throat> Normally we would label it, but like Tony said, our labels are buried in storage somewhere. And... All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do, since I have rosemary here, I'm just gonna kind of work my way down. Yeah, you just down. have one, right? Yeah. And let's do some peppermint. I love um, peppermint tea. And so I want to grow lots of mint this year so that I can just have fresh peppermint tea. And spearmint. I, I bought some spearmint seeds this year as well. And all right. So this one's ready. All right. I'll move Let me it throw some water on here. See? We got these ones done. Um, heat mat is on. Oh, you know what? We need to water them. <laughs> and then, like I said, this thing is amazing. Oh, I'm watering the ones that don't have anything in them. That's right. I need some anyway. Yeah. I'm going to dry it out. So this is our first time ever using heat mats. Um, so I'm, I'm so far impressed with how quickly Kinda my onions, onions came up. and popcorn. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. I uh, can't put this one on because it'll, it'll, uh... You think so? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, We'll be starting more seeds here in a couple more weeks and just kind of continue on throughout this end of winter into the beginning of spring and we'll take you guys along and hopefully have some success and again if you guys have any uh, suggestions on a high tunnel um, we would really love to hear like if you have experience with 
with a specific brand and you feel like it really um, is worked really well and good quality, we'd love to hear. And then again, too, let me know what you're growing. Um, I am always looking for new ideas and um, just some loved, favorites. Yeah, yeah, some favorites of yours would be really cool to hear about. So uh, that'll probably do it for this one, and um, see you guys in the next one.